Hey everybody, it's Sirius313. Another GTA update means another LSPDFR install tutorial. A lot of you guys have been having problems with the new Rage 40 and getting the game to work. So I told you I'm going to help you out. So uh, here we go. So this is for a clean install. This is if you've made a copy of the game, just one that's never been modded before. So first thing you're going to do is locate your Steam um, common folder. You're going to go pro uh, Programs x86. You're going to go down here to Steam, Steam Apps, and then you'll be looking at Common, and then you'll see where you have your, uh, your game at, and that's where you want to look. So you'll see Grand Theft Auto, and now I have my folder ready to go this will be where we go out of so all the links will be in the description this is going to be a really quick install uh, this is a speed install probably five minutes so you have LSPDFR first response they did update this to work with 40 June 10th make sure that you do this this is the main thing a lot of people have not been doing when they um, try to install as they use their old LSPDFR it did update uh, you'll go to rage get the rage plugin hook You'll go to the requirements. Make sure that you have all these requirements met. Framework, uh, Visual C Plus Studio, the game will not work. Go to the Downloads tab right here, and you've got Rage 40. Make sure you download that. And then the other component is Script Hook 5. Uh, you'll go right here and just go Download. All these will be in the uh, description links below, but that's all you need to get it going. So now let's go ahead and get on with the install. So, if you want to be organized, make folders of all your stuff like I have, always copy it. So we're going to copy first our LSPDFR install. We did the alternative, which is the auto install. So we'll go install, paste, uh, we'll go to 7-zip, we'll extract here. So we'll let that go ahead, and we'll just go ahead and run this. It's definitely taking longer than normal. Here we go. Alright, so this is the auto install. I use this just because I like it. I do the manual too, but it doesn't matter. So you're just going to agree to all this stuff real quick. Hit next, next. It's going to install into the folder here. I'm not going to launch the first time configurator because uh, there's no need for it. The reason why is we're going to delete all this out of the install folder. Now we're going to move this over. We're going to get Rage plugin hook. We'll copy it. We'll go ahead and uh, paste it over here. It's very important that you keep a clean work surface or you will mess your game up quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and extract this. So you can do it that way, or if a lot of you have been having trouble with uh, Windows 10 or you've been having trouble with um, your virus protection not letting it work, Here's a trick. You right click it, make sure you do properties, and go to unblock. Some of the files get blocked, so you want to make sure you apply that. OK. Now all these files in the computer will tell it that it's OK to use. These files came from another computer. So what we'll do is we're going to grab everything that you see here. We'll take out the rage zip. We'll take out the SDK and the licenses. We'll grab this and we're moving it over to our GTA folder. See how it says move to GTA 5. That's what we want. So just go ahead and click. We'll replace. All those will go over. We can see that it updated correctly. We'll go ahead and delete all this out. Now we got one thing left to do and that's script hook. So we'll copy it. We'll paste it. We'll go ahead. Once again, these have the .dll. So we'll go properties, unblock, apply, OK. Now, I don't know if all Windows versions are going to have that particular feature. So, we'll go to the README. Um, the README basically says that you cannot use this online. I cannot repeat that enough. You will get banned. Installation, uh, script hook DLL's main folder to the GTA. So, basically, you're going to go into bin. You're going to grab all these out right here. And let's go ahead and move over here. And we'll just drag. I just don't want that lit up. Okay, we'll drag and drop this to where it says move to Grand Theft Auto. We'll replace that. We'll close out of this. And just like that, Rage um, LSPDFR has been updated to work with Rage 48. So we'll go ahead and run it. Uh, run as administrator for the first time. We'll hit yes. 
Now this is just your Rage license, letting you know that it is Rage 40, which is what we want. So we'll hit accept. We're running with uh, elevated privileges. It says don't do that, but every modder you talk to will tell you to do that. So now we just wait for it to come up. Now this is very important that you get all of the green check marks. If you don't, that means you have stuff that you need to back up or go and uh, install. Backup game version. I highly recommend this. GTA has another update coming in a couple of weeks. Make sure you hit yes. This will make it to where you can revert back once they do their update. Because as you know, if you're if you're uh, not new to this, you know every time GTA updates, it breaks the rage and the script hook, and it's usually uh, down for a couple of days. Very important. You want to see seven point or seven five seven point four GTA forty with rage plugins. You want to make sure that you have LSPDFR loaded. So we'll go ahead and load this. There we go. Uh, and then your game settings. We can see right here. You would revert back. Right here, it'll say delete active. You'll have another one that'll say revert. So we're gonna go ahead, save and launch because we should be ready to play. So hit okay. This'll just go ahead and let the rage screen load up here. A lot of people said they've been getting errors in this particular window. That can come from not having the um, the rage dependency, the requirements, the script hook, the uh, the proper rate, uh, the framework, and all that. But all right, we're gonna go ahead. I'll edit this out, and I'll see you in in the game. All right, everybody, here we are. Uh, we are in the game. Up. Oh, I forgot. I took away the um, the HUD and the radar. So those are key things to know that it worked. So if you look over here, you see the badges in the lower left-hand corner uh, in the radar or in the uh, mini-map. That means that it worked. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit F4, bring up the Rage Command menu, and hit Force Duty. So that when we Force Duty, there you go. You can see that we are now on duty as a police officer. So that's it, guys. That's... Uh, how to install LSPDFR. All right, so um, hopefully that worked for you. Let me know down in the comments. And guys, this is the first video of two that I'm gonna do. My next video is I'm going to uh, show you guys. I'm getting ready to install and update my uh, Rage 40 update for everything. And these are all the plugins that I'm gonna be uh, installing in my game once I do it. But I'm going to go ahead and record uh, the process of updating from 38 or 39, uh, the version 678.757.2, uh, whatever one you might have, uh, to 40. A lot of people have been having issues with crashing and, and whatnot during this particular part. But I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, how to do it right. Hopefully, uh, it'll help you with any uh, of the game issues that you've been having. Well, guys, until next time, I'm Sirius313, and I'm out.